Okay, guys, I don't know why I didn't think about starting up a video to film the moment, but uh, we got the live stream, and you'll be able to go back and watch the live stream. We have passed all sevens in our world population. This is history. You're viewing history. You are a part of history watching this happen. This has never happened before in our world. Uh, ten sevens in our world's population. Now, obviously, the number's not 100% accurate, but the fact that we were able to be here to see this is astounding. It's incredible. I'm going to leave it up for a little bit. I'm going to let everybody talk. It went so fast all of a sudden, too. Look how fast it's going all of a sudden. How cool. I don't think I got the uh, screenshot, but I think it ended up going to nine. So I'll check it in here in a little bit. But wow. Amazing. Amazing. Let me send a little message here. that all up. <laughs> all right, now we're going to stop the live stream, guys. Get it on here, and it's over. All right, now my phone needs to rest for a minute. <laughs> Okay, we're done. Yeah, it was incredible, Kenneth. I, I got to tell you, my heart was up here. My heart was all wound up. That was, it was super cool. Super, super, super cool. That was amazing. All right. Uh, let me go see if I can f I, if I got that screenshot. Let's talk about this here a little bit. We're going to go through a couple of scriptures again too, because I want to make sure I remind everybody. You know, that this wasn't an attempt to watch for the rapture. We don't know when the rapture is going to happen, and we can't know when the rapture is going to happen. Um, whoops, hold on a second here. Whoa! I didn't click on that. Get out of here. Okay, let me get myself back where I need to be here. There we go. Now let's start playing sound on my end. All right, let's see. I'm checking messages here. Okay. Okay, let's see if I got that screenshot now. Give me a minute because i got to remember where, I, where that screenshot is. Uh, it is in, dun, 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 I believe it's in my Windows Media Player. I'm still getting used to Windows 10. Okay, so, um, what were we doing? We were not watching for the rapture on this. And it's exciting to think about that. What is this? I didn't click on Word document. What in the world? Get that out of here. Um, there it is. So uh, we weren't watching for the rapture. We don't know when the rapture is going to happen. What that was meant to do was that to, was to... That was meant to give you guys a, there it is, screenshot, let's see. That was meant to give you guys a, uh, a chance to see world history happen. Open it up. Oh, one after, dang it, I almost got it. Oh well, I'm going to put that as a, as a thumbnail. <laughs> got one after. That was cool, though. That was really, really, really cool. So, um, what that was meant to do was that was meant to watch history, to, to view history in the making, uh, just like when 9/11 happened. Same thing. It was history in the making, and um, to see uh, minimize that, to see. Um, history being made is incredible. In our population, in our world history, in all recorded history, we've never had nowhere even close to that many people on the earth at the same time. And when we go back to, let's go back into Romans. We go back into Romans 11.25 and we read this. Now after that's happened, 
the perspective is now different because now we're past that moment. For I do not desire, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery, lest you should be wise in your own opinion. That blindness, in part, has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles has come in. When we think about that now, because we were talking about, well, the last Gentile is going to get saved. And that's how almost all, that's how everybody's understood it to be that way. And just fairly recently, people have started to get this sense of, wait a minute, may, that may not be what that's talking about. How interesting that it's everybody's view on this is now changing. The fullness of the Gentiles. And when we go back into the other scriptures that talk about us being a new creation, and we can go and do a search on that here. Let's go over these scriptures again. So in 2 Corinthians 5.17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. You're no longer Jew, you're no longer Gentile. Old things have passed away. When you used to be a Jew or you used to be a Gentile, behold, all things have become new. And in Galatians 6.15, For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision avails anything. Now, he's not talking about the, the, the cutting on the, on the penis. He's talking about having law or not having law. Because the way you were uh, indicated that you were under the law of Israel was you were circumcised. And the way you showed that you weren't was you weren't circumcised. Because that wasn't a common practice back then. So, that's he's talking about law or no law. It, avail, it doesn't avail you anything but a new creation. We are now neither Jew nor Gentile. We are something brand new that the world has never seen before. That's the great mystery about this and about the church and about the bride. That's why it is so important for us to understand we must be removed from this planet because the tribulation time period and the wrath of God is getting poured out on those Jews that turned against him and denied him and turned away from him to bring them back to him. And for the unbeliever, the Gentile. And just like when we go into Daniel 8, and look at Daniel 8.23, we see the same thing. Let's go back here. Where you at, Daniel? Come on. Come on. Oh, man, I passed it way up. We go to Daniel 8.23. Now, in Daniel 8, you see a prophecy being given, a vision being given uh, of a, a wartime and of a goat that attacks the ram. We think he explains who the ram is. That's uh, Iran and Turkey. But we don't know who the goat is. It says Greece, and the King James it says Grecia. doesn't matter. A great king, that's uh, or a, a notable horn that is going to be the first king. And no one's ever had a king, a first king in recent history, except for America. They keep calling Trump king. Uh, we see things changing in our government right now, which seems to signify this. But the real key thing is, in two different places, he refers to this prophecy as being an end-time prophecy. The angels tell Daniel this up here. Let's see. In Daniel 8, 17, it says, So he came near where I stood, and when he came, I was afraid and fell on my face. But he said to me, Understand, son of man, that the vision refers to the time of the end. Then he says again in verse 19, And he said, Look, I am making known to you what shall happen in the latter time of the indignation. For at the appointed time, the end shall be. So we know there's an appointed time for this time. Then you go to verse 23. And in the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors have reached their fullness. So if we're not Gentile and we're not Jew, who's the transgressor? The Gentile. The actual Gentile, the non-believer. A king shall arise having fierce features who understands sinister schemes. So now we understand what this is actually referring to. It's not referring to believers at all. It's referring to those who will be here for the tribulation. When the seals are broken, then you're going to have a great multitude and the 144,000 called out. Then you're going to have the actual wrath being poured out upon the earth. Good. I saw Nick is going to do one about that. I hope everybody d does one about that. About the This is history. History in the making. But how amazing that just those ten sevens has no more meaning than it's a historical fact that our population did that. But look at what we find in the Bible that matches that. Now that we see this and we're like, mm, okay, you know what? It looks like it means that. And we look and see what the new creation is. That a new creation isn't a saved person. It's not a born-again person. Or the new creation is a born-again person. Everyone else isn't that new creation. Now that number has new meaning. And when we go and we look at all these things, Daniel 8.23 and Romans 11.25... 
we get a completely different understanding of what's going on around here. And it's amazing because what does it do? It helps us understand the time frame that we're in. Now that we have reached the fullness of the Gentiles, seven, the number of completion, 10, the number of divine completion, fullness. We now know that we're in the end times. There should be no doubt in anyone's mind. This is it. We are in the tribulation. Now, I actually kind of like a little bit thought maybe the rapture would happen at that, at that moment, but I, I know it's not going to. This is something that will happen after this moment. This was a time stamp. We had to get to that point of the fullness of the Gentiles. Once we get to that point, then everything changes. So now that we've reached that point, more or less, because that number's not accurate, we know that it'll actually probably go a little further and it'll actually hit all sevens. But that, now that we've witnessed this for our own, ourselves and with our own two eyes, we now see what's coming after this fact. Watch how fast things change now that that number has done that. Watch how fast everything just flows. Look how much stuff is staged and ready to happen. Watch how fast it changes. And then we're going to see the rapture happen after that. What an amazing time of year. Remember the video I did showed you where the real resurrection happened? There's even a second, pen, a second Passover that still has to be fulfilled. There's first fruits that still has to be fulfilled. And we haven't, we got two more days. We haven't hit that yet. So guys, yeah, this is big. Not only is it historical, it, but biblically it's big. And it matches exactly what the Bible is telling us. And the more we study, the more we find connections to it. So please keep reading. Study this for yourselves. Go look. I'm, I thank everyone for showing up for the live stream. Spread it everywhere you want to. I, I don't hold any of this stuff to myself. This is for everyone to share everywhere. Go look at this. Go check this stuff out. It is amazing. And it is so cool to be a part of this. We were chosen for this. Remember that. You were chosen for this time. You were chosen to see these things. The world doesn't even pay attention. There might be a, might be a mention of it. The world doesn't know this stuff. They don't pay attention to this stuff. We do. Why do we, why do we know? Because we were picked. We were chosen. We're the bride. I love you guys. I bless you all in Jesus' name. And I will see you in the next video.